I'll be doing this book report on the story Harrison Bergeron by Kurt Vonnegut. Kurt Vonnegut writes uh, a number of sci-fi futuristic stories, um, this being one of them. It's set in the year 2081, and um, basically the premise is that everybody has been made equal. Um, the government has done this by putting disabilities on people um, to make nobody better than anyone else. For example, if you're really smart, they'll um, put a device in your ear that every so often will give off a really loud, randomized noise interrupting any thoughts you might be having. Um, if you're really graceful or strong, ha they'll have weights tied to your feet or body. Um, anyway, this story is not just sci-fi, it also has an element of magic in it. Um, it's from the point of view of this couple. Um, and they're watching television. Uh, they're watching a ballet, actually. Um, but, you know, because of the disabilities, all the uh, dancers have masks to hide their beauty and chains and um, weights so they can't dance properly. Um, but they're d discussing about how it probably is a beautiful dance if, if all the disabilities were gone. Um... And then, it, the show is interrupted by a news bulletin um, telling everybody that this guy, Harrison Bergeron, who happens to be um, the main couple's son, has escaped from prison. Um, and he was in prison due to the fact that he kept taking off his disabilities and he would not keep them on. Um, so, so then he breaks into where the ballet is happening and tears off his disabilities like they were nothing. He basically has superhuman strength and it's not really explained why. Um, then he takes all the disabilities off of the orchestra that we're playing for the ballet and tells them to play music and uh, asks the ballet dancers if one of them will be his queen and they'll kind of try to overthrow society. And so one of them steps up and he takes off her disabilities and they start dancing and it's described that they uh, jump and dance and with every jump they get closer to the ceiling until their uh, hands brush against it, which obviously, even for sci-fi, is, you know, not possible. Um, so it's very interesting. Um, and the, the, the story ends with, so all this, all this stuff happened, and they're like, oh gosh, this is horrible, but then, um, the male, the guy in the, uh, couple, he has one of the disabilities in his ear, and it goes off, and he totally forgets what just happened, um, and his wife, uh, she doesn't have a disability due to intelligence, but she's just not very bright, so she forgets what they were talking about as well. Um, and so it was just this whole big thing, and their son got out of jail and was causing all this ruckus, and then they just don't remember it, and that's how it ends. Um, it's one of my favorite Kurt Vonnegut stories that I've read. Um, just because it's so shocking, basically. Like, you're really not expecting what happens the whole time. You're just, like, going back and reading it because you're not sure if you read it right or not. Um, and it's a very interesting idea to have a, a way to make people equal. Um, of course, it would never work, really. Um... But I think it's very interesting all the same. Um, he There's another story um, 
one of another one of his sci-fi stories. Um, I believe it's called Welcome to the Monkey House, where uh, to make not to make everyone equal, but to make everyone conformative, everybody takes pills basically. Um, and the population is so greatly over um, what is what the Earth can sustain that um, suicide is uh, is actually encouraged greatly and uh, considered like a an honor or a civic duty, and there are suicide booths like everywhere. Um, and again in that one there's a rebel group and they've been um they will like kidnap people and tell them the truth and take them off the pills that make them i believe they call them nothing heads or something that makes them not ba basically not be able to really think for themselves um but yeah Kurt Vonnegut has a lot of very interesting ideas when it comes to sci-fi and all of them seem to be pretty dark, as far as I've read. Um, uh, Harrison Bergeron being one of the uh, more extreme cases of this. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's uh, it's not a very long story, um, but it's a very interesting read, and I'm sure um, you could... Uh, you know, write a lot of, um, theories as to what he meant with all of it. Um, yeah, so that's what I've got to say about Kurt Vonnegut's Harrison Bergeron.